Hello everyone. My camera keeps doing this weird thing with the videos pause for about 10 seconds at the start. So I'll let that fix itself and we'll get into today's stream. All right, and we're live moving around on the screen. So last training before I get married in about 54 hours. Uh, we're onboarding a couple of sales guys this week. So I want to make sure they are fully prepared to get the best possible experience uh, to ensure they are closing deals left, right, and center. So I'm filming the next step in our training series, which is called the trial close. Now, if you haven't watched the previous trainings, the pitch, the why, situation, how to set a sales call, this doesn't matter. So I want you to go back to those first four videos. If you scroll down on this profile or go through our YouTube channel, they are all on there. So I'm going to assume that you have started the phone call amazingly. I'm going to assume that you have a really good goal. You understand what they want to accomplish, what they've tried previously. I'm going to assume you've covered the timetable and logistics. I'm going to assume that you've got a really good reason why. Why do they want to achieve their goals? The impact if they do, the impact if they don't. I'm also going to achieve, uh, assume that you've done an amazing job pitching your product using the three core pillars that we've discussed previously. Now, the example I've used for this entire call is a, a, a girl named Sally with 20 kilos to lose. So we've just finished the pitch. They know the price already. And it's that awkward part of the phone call where you're not really sure whether you're whether you should ask for bank details or card details. So quite often, fit pros just don't ask. <laughs> Number one, if you want to make more sales, you have to ask for the sale. But obviously, I want to make that as easy as possible, making you feel as comfortable as possible, making you feel as certain as possible that you are going to get the desired result, which is grabbing those details over the phone. Now, the trial close. This, for me, is the second most important part of the script. Now, if you have an amazing reason why, you get that emotional reason to have more energy, to be the mum that she wants to be, to feel good in clothes, to feel comfortable in photos, a large part of your job has already been done. The trial clothes, it's designed to pull out any objections before you ask for the car details. I'm going to repeat that. The reason we trial clothes is to bring out any potential objections before we ask for the card details. Because if you ask for those details and she gets halfway through giving you her card number and she has a question around freezing, a question around cancellations, a question around pricing, a question around anything, it can derail the sale, lead her to say, I want to think about it or I want to discuss this with my partner. Okay, so once again, the trial close is designed to actually bring out the objections. We want the objections. We want to hear her concerns. And the word concern is the right word. What is she concerned about? It's not an objection. It's a concern. It's a question that we just need to cover. Now, above, we summarized the three core pillars. Awesome. So what we really want to do is help you create a healthy, sustainable lifestyle, and we want it to become your new norm. That means you'll have more energy, you'll get your confidence back, and you'll feel like your old self. Now, we're going to move down to here, which is the trial. She says, yep, that sounds amazing. I'm so excited. So she's gone through the three, th three pillars. You've summarized the pillars. And now we're going to try closer. So, Sally, do you think this could potentially get you to your goal? I'm going to repeat that question again. So, Sally, do you think this could potentially get you to your goal? So I'm pausing deliberately. I'm using the word potentially deliberately, and I'm upwardsly inflecting the word goal because it's a questioning tone. It's a curious tone, and I want to draw an answer out. Now, nine times out of 10, it's going to be an emphatic, yes, it sounds amazing. It's exactly what I've been looking for. At that point, you can feel very comfortable asking for the car details. But if you ask that question, do you think this could, like, potentially get you to your goal? She might say, oh, yeah, I, I, I think so. 
at that point you would say, oh, what makes you say that? Why do you feel that way? And you want her to sell herself back into the program. Yeah, like, I have a question around like a freeze period. Like, I'm going away throughout the six weeks. Like, what happens there? Or like, I'm really concerned about like my knee injury. Like, am I going to be able to do this? Am I fit enough? Once again, we want to draw the objections out before we ask, ask for the card details. Because at this point, they know the price. If we draw all the objections out and we handle them, then collecting the details is going to be easy. So I'm going to repeat that question again. So Sally, do you think this could, like, potentially get you to your goal? Do you think this could potentially get you to your goal? So Sally, did anything stand out or resonate with you in particular? When they, are, when they, when they answer the question, you just repeat back to them, oh, what makes you say that? Why do you feel that way? So how that would actually go is Sally says, yep, that's exactly what I've been looking for. Or I would say, I'm so glad you're feeling so positive about our six-week challenge. Like what? Besides what we've discussed already, like what makes you say that? And they will literally say, like, I love this. It's exactly what I've been looking for. What resonated with me was the fact that I have support. What resonated with me is the fact that I have enjoyment. What resonated with me is that I can only achieve, I only go three times a week. And you just be quiet and they will tell you everything they love about your program. At that point, you can collect card details. Sometimes I'll just flat out say, yeah, it sounds amazing. And that's what we're after. Key point here, do not move on until you get an emphatic yes or an answer that you're satisfied with. People avoid conflict at all costs. Most people aren't confrontational. So if you say to someone, do you think this, get, do you think this can help you achieve your goal? If someone avoids conflict, they'll just say yes or yep. Yeah. Yes. So by asking for it encourages them to share their concerns with their trusted advisor, which is you, the salesperson. You want to bring it out. From there, if they give you a great answer, yeah, it sounds amazing. I'm really excited, but you're still not sure. It's an emphatic yes. You'll then move on to the next question. So did anything stand out or, or resonate with you in particular? And they'll say, yep, the third pillar, support, really resonated with me. That's great. I'm so glad you're feeling so positive. Is there, how do you feel about what we've, what we've discussed today? So you can trial close in three times and just look and look and look. And you do not move on. Yes. Why I love the three core pillars, if you haven't watched the training, go back, is if they bring up a concern which is reasonable. You've just met this person. They're over the phone. Oh, like I'm just, I've done this style of program before and just hasn't worked for me. I just, I just, I just get started and then I stop. So what you would say is listen, like I understand you mentioned before that you have been to an anytime fitness and the reason you stopped, which is why you didn't enjoy it which is why our second core pillar, the fact that you enjoy it, is so critical. Combined with the third core pillar, support. So not only do the pillars help you pitch, they actually help you overcome concerns and you draw everything back to effectiveness, to enjoyment, and to support. So once again, Sally comes on. We summarize the pitch. It sounds amazing. I'll give you an example where she says an emphatic yes. So Sally, like, do you think this could like, potentially get you to your goal? Yep, I'm so excited. Like, I'm ready to get started. That would be an emphatic yes. Move on, collect payment details. Sally has a skeptical yes, or what I would consider just a not sure. So Sally, do you think this could, like, potentially get you to your goal? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. 
at that point, if you're unsure, you say, oh, like, I'm, I'm glad you're sounding so positive about all this. What makes you say, like, what, what do you like? And they will go back to what they like about the program. You continue to pull from the three core pillars. And I'm going to give you one where Sally doesn't want to borrow it, right? So, Sally, do you think this could, like, potentially get you to your goal? Yeah, I'm just not sure at the moment because I've got a lot going on. Oh, okay, okay. And what makes you say that? Oh, because I'm going away like week three of the six-week challenge. I'm not sure if now is a good time to start. Sally, like, sorry, I, I didn't tell you. My mistake. Throughout the six-week program, we can actually put it on pause for one week because it happens all the time. The vast majority of our members are mums and dads, and it happens all the time around school holidays. So what we can do is we can start for two weeks. We can put that third week on hold and then resume the six weeks when you get back. Does that... Does that kind of make sense? Then you get the emphatic yes. Cool. So now we put that to the side that like you can do the six weeks if we put it on pause for a week. Did anything stand out or resonate with you in particular? Oh, I'm just like, I just love the support, but I'm really unsure about like, am I going to be fit enough? Completely understand, Sally. And that's why the second core pillar enjoyment is so important. To ensure that you do enjoy it, we're going to meet you at your current level of fitness. You have my word that you will not do anything that you're not comfortable doing. Does that kind of like make sense? Yeah, okay, cool, awesome. So like now the fact that like you can come for the first six weeks and you can work at your own pace, how do you feel about what we've kind of discussed today? And they'll say yes. Right, so the emphatic yes, collect details. The skeptical yes, you may ask them what they liked about it. If you're still unsure, ask them, did anything stand out or resonate? If you're still unsure, how do you feel about what we've discussed today? Do not ask what do you think? What do you think about what we've discussed today? It puts them in a logical state and they can start going through logistics around the timetable. Can I make it? I've got kids, all that type of stuff. So how do you feel? We want to keep them in the emotional buying pocket. Once again, if you had done a terrible job on the phone call and you're a really great trial closer, you can close deals, but you will get more refunds if you just get great at trial closing. If you do a really terrible job on the call, but you do a great why and a great trial close, you're going to be an epic closer and sell the clients in your gym. If you can do the whole process, we'll become the best closers in Australia. Start the call. What sparked your interest? After that, find out what is their goal? What have they accomplished? What have they tried previously? After that, square off logistics, make sure the timetable suits. After that, what are your reasons why? Mirror them to fit into the dress, to have more energy, to lose weight. Why is that important to you? What is the impact if you achieve your goal? Let's say that you don't achieve your goal. Like, How does that impact you? Is your family aware that you're feeling this way? Go into the pitch, effectiveness, enjoyment, support, make it clear and simple for the prospect to understand what you offer. And then you try or close them, overcome all of their logistical concerns around the time that they're starting, the program that we're offering. Can they start at their current level of ability? Trial close them two, three, four, five, six times, loop and loop and loop until you are confident that it is an emphatic yes. If you do that, you are going to have a more profitable gym. The key part here is the tone, the pause, and how I ask these questions. The reason why I love coaching this section more than any other section in sales is it's the best way I can help you understand the importance of tone, the importance of pausing, and the importance of it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So if you said, hey, Sally, do you think this can get you to your goal? If Sally 
is to avoid conflict, which most people do. She may say yes, not mean it. You ask for details, and then she flakes at the end of the call. We want the objections. Bring it out. Do you think this could, like, potentially get you to your goal? Did anything stand out or, or resonate with you in particular? I'm glad you're feeling so positive about that. Like, how else do you feel about what we've kind of discussed today? So, guys, another part of the training. Uh, I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, 31 subscribers now. It's growing every single day. So, uh, like our YouTube channel, share this content, subscribe. And part of all of our sales training all of our marketing training is going to be with our upcoming pro product, Fitness Leads AI, dropping in January, which is $9.95 per week, which is pretty much the world's best coaching program for nothing, which includes a version of Go High Level, which people charge $100, 200 a week for. And then if we give you every single thing that you need and you just don't want to do it yourself or you haven't got time, then you can just do our done for you everything service. We'll just come in and do it all for you. So guys, have a lovely day. Thanks for watching.